everybody, and welcome back to more Aurora 4X. Diggy, diggy, diggy. When we last left off, Star Trek, the USS Enterprise original series, had made its way home to Earth after doing a splendidly, splendidly, splendid job exploring a Washington. Even though it had countless and I do mean countless maintenance failures. So what we're going to do is we're going to just delete Constitution class here. Bam. And we're going to scrap the Enterprise itself. As much as it pains me to do this, um, there is a reason behind it. And I'm not sure if it's going to work. But I can hope it does. So we're going to jump forward in a couple of 30-day increments to get this done. Captain James T. Kirk is going to be bummed because, yeah, his ship is getting trashed. All right, we need to bring Prometheus home as well. Blah, blah. And blah, blah. All right. Uh, scrapped. Recovered components, three maintenance storage, 30 maintenance storage bays. A Star Trek is unable to carry out special system survey orders, yes. So, the group is still here and the special orders are still there. Now, I can come in here manually and go yeah, da, 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 and do that. However, if I just go no default, that fixes the problem. And as you can see here, it just kind of gets rid of it. Um, so, if I hit grab, that will tell it do this nearest survey. If I tell it geo, that will tell it to do the nearest body. So that's, those are nice little shortcuts there. Um, and we'll get into the uh, order templates here eventually. Uh, let's see, let's check on Temple Turtle. So it's still kind of going, you know. Um, wait, I thought, was it? What, 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 okay, I know the Ravens. fuel capacity and then we want three of these and we also want to click conscript now this is kind of a double-edged sword because conscript your your uh, your ship crews can only achieve so much uh, training levels however it, the conscript removes a lot of the penalties um, that you will have uh, with your deployment time issues. Um, so th there is that. I'm going to show that in tons. That way it's familiar to me. Plain and simple. All right, let's give us, just like the last one, 30 engineer spaces, 30 maintenance storage bays. All right. Now we want... There we go. Three of these. Let's give him five. Fifteen points a piece. Let's see, see how much that helps them. All right. Um, is that it? You know, we don't need to give them armor because they have no shields. They have no way of defending themselves. Um, 
and if they find if someone finds them they're pretty much screwed glued and tattooed to begin with anyway so uh, not a lot we can do there so um, all right we need a bridge Where's that uh, and I believe that's about all I can do. Uh, yeah, that's it. A little bit leaner ship at 36,000 tons versus the 93,000 that we are here. However, that's because we don't have a jump drive on here yet. Yeah, we need to get that jump drive on here. That is going to jump it up quite a bit. So, yeah, we, we can't. We need the bigger one. Actually, we can't even do that. Yeah, it's not like I can double them up. So, yeah, that jump drive is useless. So, this Enterprise will be relying extremely, extremely heavily on the Prometheuses. Let's refit to the NX class. Set activity and you're done. That's going to take all of three months to get done. All right. Wait, what? There we go. All right, now let's build us an NX. So, um, let's see here. Let's look up the NX class serial number. NX... Enterprise serial number. Uh, is it really NCC 1701 still? I don't think so. Okay, fine. NX. Okay, it was the NX01. So that's not too far off. There we go. NX01. Enterprise. Enterprise. Shazam! Get it done, boys. Get it done. Get it done. How long is that going to take? That's going to take a little under... Actually, exactly one year to get that done. Um, very nice. Alright. So let's uh, set the auto turn to move forward on that. More tech going on. 49ers are moving about. What? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, that was the moves that I told them to do. <laughs> uh, we went five minutes of just doing nothing in game. done, which is goop. It's what to be bought to get done. Alright, that uh, should be a little bit later this month that it gets done, so that should be it. Did it get done? It does not look like it. Yeah. 
sorry, I was just, I was looking to see what Jonathan Martin was saying. This guy has an assignment. I'm going to give it to this guy before we name him. Standard Transit, and then Jump Point 2, Standard Transit. Because we just want to know. We want to know what's out there, yo. What the... Is he, is he still here? Is he still here? Uh, no, he's not. Ah, there he is. He snuck out of the system before we could see him. Before we could see where he went. Another A Washington? Seriously? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so this one gets named AB. Because it is in the A chain and it is the second star in the chain. Now, 
Now, if it had no planets or anything and no jump gates, I would call that a dead system. You can call it whatever you want, that's just what I do. Alright, so let's give them 30 day increments because we need to get these jump gates built so the Enterprise can go exploring. Now you can see down here it's unable to carry out special survey orders, so we come back up here, tell it no default, bam, solves the problem nice and quickly, and we can go back to our lives. Alright, Prometheus is done on Unexplored 1. Okay, and I'm also going to rename Enterprise A, we're going to put a tilde, a little mark in front of that, we're going to get rid of the 49ers double mark. Call him one underscore, and that should put him below Enterprise. Sort of, yes, it does. All right, excellent. All right, so you're gonna go through jump. I support one and do. Nope, I didn't want to erase the conditions. All right. Now I'm sitting right on top of the jump gate, so I just want to go for a second. Anyway, okay. another Washington. Wow. Who's with all the Washingtons? Honestly, I've never... This is the first game I've had uh, Washingtons in. So we call this one AC because it's the third one in the chain. And oh my god! Look at all those terrestrials! Holy cow! A 1.9, a 2.07, 1.9, 1.9, 2.07, 1.9. Those are golden. This is going to be a huge system for us if there is a fair amount of minerals here. Oh my god. All the moons and the asteroids. Holy cow. 160 asteroids. Yeah, I've, I've actually seen more. Oh, it's a system graphic light. Wow, lots of gas giants. And we are way out there, comparatively. Alright, let's come to our galaxy map. Uh, and I forgot to save the empty system. Let's space that up just a little bit further. Stuck. Awesome. Excellente. All right. Now let's auto turn and let him explore these jump gates. Actually, no, we don't. Okay. This is this this is where it becomes a bit risky. My cat is trying to climb my leg again. So seeing as he has no weapons, he's going to literally sit on that jump gate. Uh, we're not going to bring Promethea, Prometheus through because we don't want to build a jump gate on there and let the enemy come back through with us. Now, he has no jump gate of his own, so he's pretty much useless, helpless, and he will die if there's an enemy in the system. It usually takes them about four or five months to show up. Uh, now, keep in mind that we have no sensors, so there is that. All right. We can tell him to explore now the gravitational anomalies. And get her done, boy, get them done. Hoping for something.
come back to explore. system because we want to know out know if those planets have goodies. So we're gonna go to minerals and we're gonna show that. And yes they do, they have goodies. Oh my goodness, look at that. 8 million geranium, 15 million chromium, corvamite, 4 million galacite, oh that is a godsend, yes. Uh, 2 million boronide, 4.5 million uh, iridium. Now I will not colonize a system completely unless it has every single mineral in it. Um, and I'm talking significant amounts. Um, there's been a couple systems where I've just, I find one planet that's got, I, I literally had one planet that had like 300 million uh, Mercasium. Uh, which can be a harder one to find. Except there was absolutely nothing else in the system. There, were, there was no other minerals anywhere, and it was like on just this random, like, planet that had a survive, um, a planet suitability cost of like 39 or something like that. It was ridiculous. Um, so, so as a result of that, I will not colonize a planet unless I come up here and I see significant amounts of over a million Titanium that we're gonna need to find more titanium. Uh, we're gonna need to find more casium, more verdonite, more uranium, some iridium, we need to find some corundium, uh, galacite. Okay, so this one might be worth it um, if we can find a little bit more of these ones that we're lacking. Uh, but if we can't find any corundium at all, this is not a contender for a uh, solid colony. Um, I don't mind, like, putting uh, automated mines in here and, you know, just sending uh, automated cargo haulers back and forth between them. Uh, but I think that, that's a big, huge resource hog right there. It's just much better to have a solid colony uh, that way you can have an industry there and you can have mining and your, your minerals sent there and done. All right, research. What was completed? Ah, even Nicholson again. Man, he is just booking it. That is centers on fire control, right? Yeah, he is just, he's on fire. I mean, with a 60% bonus, he is gonna, that's gonna suck when he dies. Oh my gosh. say uh, like I said before I'm just I do them from lowest to most expensive that way all my tech stays at a relatively similar level I know I've said that before uh, okay to grab a sensor failure okay whatever let's go back down to some Washington and see what else we have about eight million sorium oh, oh, oh. very nice very nice and good. That is a lot of fuel. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the conversion rate is on sorium to fuel. Of that 8 million will probably make what, something like 8 billion or 8 trillion. Oh my god, 67,000 corvamite? Oh my god, that is crazy. That is totally crazy. Okay, so we, we literally, there, we, there's more geranium in the system than we know what to do with. 
Uh, there's what, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 million duranium just right there. Uh, neutronium, we got 7 million there. Orgamite, 60, 70, over 80 million, 80 million. Tritanium, we have, okay, we've got a pocket of a million, 500,000, that's good. 8 million boronite, mercasium, we got 4, probably over, close to 8 million. Uh, Burdenite, 42 million. Sorium, plenty. Iridium, plenty. Corundum, barely any in the system at all. Gallocyte, we got hydrogen corruption. So right now our holdout is corundium. Uh, let's hope we can find more. Uh, let's hope we can find more corundium. Oh, and there we go. 1.3 million corundium right there on the next planet survey. That is the Gletcher! Bam! So this is a very, very, very good system. I am super excited about finding this. Um, we got minerals on that terrestrial moon. And this terrestrial moon. Uh, decent amounts of what we need on that one and that one. Uh, and the rest is on... A moon with Sorium? Really? That's a lot of sorium on just a moon. Usually you won't see those kind of numbers of sorium unless it's a gas giant. Uh, as you can see there. Oh, okay, okay, so that was a gas giant. That's why it was confusing me. I saw the moon and I'm like, what? Uh, okay, so yeah, this, this system is going to be fantastic for us. So we're going to add a colony there. Add a colony there. Uh, what's on this? Tristan Planet. Ooh, 22. Oh my god, we would never be able to do that. This is something, the type of thing right here where we would need either a just ridiculous amount of auto mines, which we're going to need in this system anyway, um, or we were going to need um, to bioengineer or genetically manipulate our genome so that our people can survive on this world which has sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide for an atmosphere. And it is also blazingly hot. Dear God, that's incredible. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Wow. So what's the system graphic? Got a bunch of gas giants. Everything is gas giants here. Uh, now I would I wish if I, I were to click on the graphics here, it would give me the planet details down here. That would be really cool. Okay, so what can we do here? Um, we want to send our terraformus out here. Uh, so let's send him to B to C. Now see, that is so much easier to find that. And let's see, I'm not sure which of these uh, has the better mineral content. Uh, okay, so we can see Washington. Archaeological dig. Oh my goodness! Okay, so we want to send a geology team. That is the first step. And then this guy also wants a xenology team. That's what that is for. Oh my gosh, that is amazing! I, I, I have yet to find a team, uh, a planet with um, archaeological digs. That is a first. Um, Granted, I've seen a couple of Let's Plays uh, where people have, so I kind of know what I'm doing on that. I'm not 100% precise on how to recover the, uh, the artifacts and whatnot, but I I have watched a little bit of it, so uh, I do have a very tiny idea about what I'm doing there. Okay, Earth. Let's unpause this stuff because we're going to need these automated mines uh, up here. You. Let's demand the last eight automated lines that Earth has for the moment. She is trying to She wants help. She wants cuddle. She wants attention. She wants to be a parent on my shoulder. Oh, I can hear her through my earphones. Very loud. Oh, 
Okay, that doesn't tickle. That hurts. Claws. Alright. Um, so let's find the 49ers because they've got 6,000 worth of minerals here. Uh, okay, let's load all minerals. Refuel. Unload. Okay, no, no, no. no. Remove, remove. Earth. There we go. Re no. Refuel, not resupply. Ah. Interface fail. Get your butts back out there. All right, and then we are also going to tell us we want to build us another NX class ship. This is going to be the NX2 Columbia. And again, this is based off of the TV show Enterprise with uh, Scott Bakula. Bam, let's build it. Now, I am getting this information from Wikipedia, so it could be wrong, but, I mean, come on, it's Wikipedia. What do we care, right? Okay. I lost my spot there. I lost my spot. Faster. Challenger Chimera. Constellation. Oh, come on. There we go. NX class ships. There we go. Alright, yeah, so let's build us another Enterprise. That way we can actually do some serious uh, exploring here. Oh, that is, this system is just so awesome. Alright, Interactive Lab, splendid! Let's give it to Mr. Ewan Nicholson, the beast of science that he is! And he's... Enterprise's... Archer is just crushing. Where are you going? Alright, I have moons and, and stuff turned off. Right, 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 right. He's probably heading out to the asteroids. No. Moons... Okay, so he's heading out to that dwarf planet way out here. Let's give you a couple 30-day chunks. There we go. And there was something out there. Okay. Washington A. 8 Moon 1. What was actually out there? A8. Tell him to manually go back in um, just because he is so far out that he can't see anything else. Take that back to that. And actually, he is done with this system completely. That is awesome. Okay. Prometheus is. Let's see. I think Prometheus is done with his, his work. Yes, he is. Okay, so we can tell. Ouch, my cat, 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 ow. You are not a bird cat. You cannot crawl around my neck like that. You're not a bird, you're not a fairy, you're not a bat, you are a cat. You are too big to crawl around on my shoulders like that. I'm not Andre the Giant. And you are not Pepe. Okay, down you go. As much as you're having fun up there, down you go. Oh, t shirt and claws do not mix. Okay. you back to Earth, so we can keep your crew month clock down. All right, and then we're going to go through that jump point there. And I think I think we explored the, yes, we explored the gravitational, but we did not explore the geologicals. All right. 
performance is hard at work out here. Actually, he is standard transiting, so that's very cool. We've got one extra research lab. And then back to Ewan Nicholson. Keep him crunching away at the numbers. Goodness, that jump point goes to AC Washington? Oh, that's awesome. Or that one, I mean, that one there goes to A Washington. That is crazy. No wonder I didn't see that. Okay. So. Wait, what? Let's me show off something that's very cool. If I move up AC Washington, it doesn't do anything. Let's restore. Restore. Okay, so maybe once they actually jump, it'll show it. Gosh, I don't want you on my shoulders. My cat is crying because she wants to get on my shoulders again. Um, okay. Ah, more research. Okay, we're we got two labs left. There we go, he's gone. Now if we pop this up and we raise this up a bit. Okay, it should. Why is it not showing it? Arr. Refresh. should show that this jump gate is connected to a Washington, but it's not for some reason. So let's close that, completely refresh everything. Weird. Uh, I don't understand why. If we go to a Washington, Something's kind of confusing me here. Did I name these wrong? A, A, B, A, C. I thought did that link to that. I, I'm probably just talking crazy and y'all are probably laughing your asses off at me. He's an idiot. He's a doofus. He didn't realize. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I work full time. Yak it up. Yak it up. Okay, um... I guess let's just let it keep going then. <laughs> okay, one inactive research lab. Give it back to Ewan Nicholson. And keep moving. Okay, Enterprise, where are you? Period. Nearest body, I mean. Nothing within 10 billion kilometers? Huh? Okay, so this is messing with me, so I need to change this to AA. Because 
because it is just messing with my head here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I was it was I was messing with my own head here because A C A B. Okay, so it's A A that I want. he goes starting to do that so now that we got that figured out i'm gonna end this episode i think because we're just a little bit over time again if you enjoy the episode please 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 hit that like button down below if you didn't like it for some trollish reason feel free to hit that down button or the dislike button as they call it leave a comment down below if you want a ship named after you or a planet or a solar system or a governor or a captain or something to that effect and i will be more than happy to do so and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. That way you know when the next video comes out. Until next time, folks, I hope you have a splendid, fantastic, spacey day. I'm Loquid. Peace out.